One happened last night. Last night at Neda's concert, I was sitting next to Svava, and then Svava just, I looked into her eyes and I could see that she started to get very, very dizzy in the middle of the concert. Very, very dizzy and very, very disoriented. And then she told me that after getting really dizzy, then it was like suddenly the, the sounds and the and the music, everything, it was like, it was just like stimulation. And she even tried to just cover her ears because she had reached a stimulation threshold that she was about to pass through. Like any sound, any, was over stimulation. And she was right in the middle of a concert, so she just tried to cover her ears. And then, as the concert was kind of winding down, I saw her just sitting there still, and she had this look on her face, and then, and then, she said, oh, I think I, I need to go, and very slowly we walked through, directly through the flap of the, of the tent and over to the car. We got her into the car, but it just went deeper and deeper as we even drove up here. And by the time we made it over to Angel's Landing, um, I looked over at her and she was touching the, the door handle on the inside of the vehicle with a look, a look of like, what is this? She had, she was going into the mystical state where she did not understand. She, the next step was to pull the, the knob to go out and she was just over there like a little child, like a, almost like a baby touching something for the very first time in an exploratory way. She was just touching, touching the handle. And then she slowly got out, I kind of took her hand and slowly to the front door, came in, shut the door, turned it off. And then I went in to, to uh, just begin to, to get ready for bed and, and everything. And she, when I, she was still out in the hallway that comes in and she was, she'd been touching the walls. She was, she was just touching the walls of the, of the hallway, just and then at some point she told me that she thought, oh, I, oh yeah, and she had this thing, it was her purse. But she didn't know what a purse was, and then she kept trying and trying to hang the purse up, like she do in a natural way, to find the hook. And then she told me she, she finally got it up there, but she didn't know what she'd done. And then she spent uh, more minutes fishing around the hallway for the purse, but she just put the purse on the wall. It was a very faint memory of a purse, and that something must be done with this purse. But it was already done, but she didn't know it. And then she came into where the couches were, and she looked at this kind of configuration of couches like she'd never seen anything like it in her life, like kind of in a, a square. And, she, and it was moving very, very, very slowly, and, and then she kind of, I checked on her a few times, she went off to the kitchen, but she didn't recognize anything in the kitchen. This, was what, this is where it's all heading. I'm telling you all this, <laughs> just so when it happens you don't freak, freak out. out. <laughs>